Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. Next month, we are launching our tiny little rocket, the Solar Wind Monitoring. And in three months, we have the next phase of Tether's Mars Mini Rover. Let's take a quick look at what the others are doing. Uh, NASA has a crewed moon landing, the Apollo, which they just finished researching. Uh, incredibly. And then they have just finished orbital EVA. They are so far behind, it's ridiculous. Uh, the Soviet Union just did the space station. Uh, they don't have any upcoming launches. Uh, China did Mars Lander are, and are preparing for Uranus flyby, which we're already on. And Japan did the space telescope and are, are doing the uh, Venus orbit in nine months. Currently researching Chandra. What's Chandra? Svesta. What's Chandra? Granat. What the hell is Chandra? I don't see a Chandra anywhere. Maybe it's something I don't have. Hmm. Okay. Well. All right, let's continue on to next month. Solar wind monitoring is going up. It's a challenging mission. Our reliability is so-so and we get a tiny bit of science for it. Launch conditions are good. 5% risk of going boom. If we do, it's not a big disaster, but of course we'd rather not. But it's not as expensive a boom as it was last time, if it goes up. Looking good so far. All good. All good. And we get a secure launch. And these are as reliable as the get. And what do we need here? Not a whole lot. But it's a challenging mission. We only have three turns and two commands per turn. We need three and four. And we need to deal with drift. Okay. Well, let's do a signal return test. That's acceptable. And a atmospheric sampling. What's the payload reliability? 70%. Alright, well that gives us three data. We will have to resist. We have three power remaining. If we do this and this, Then we can do this and a recharge on the next turn. Dang it. So then we can do uh, a recharge and a data transmission, which takes us there, provided... Uh, actually, you know what? We can just do this, because we don't need to worry about the drift. Oh, uh, yes we do. Yes we do. So it will be like that, and we just need to hope that we don't need to resist. Which we don't. Nice. So 50% bonus reward achieved. And that, that, that's that mission complete. 456 signs for two months, a bit of support, a bit of expertise. 
All right. So China is launching in 12 months. Japan researched R4 multiplayer and it's reached R4 multiplayer and species. Okay. Uh, no request mission available on Mars. But next month, we are done with this research. So I think I'm going to wait. Let's see what the request mission is on Mars. Global Surveyor. It's not a bad mission, but next month we are ready to do... Uh, the sample retrieval. This one. Five phases, 20 months, wow. But it gives us 25% of the Mars preparation readiness. So let's wait a month. Mars sample retrieval lander research complete. A complex robotic probe equipped with a lander as well as small ascent rocket design to return a sample to Earth. All right. So we need to do some other research and we'll do the Svesda now. We will do the Svesda now. And to finish up the uh, space station and we have our milestone mission here which we're gonna plan nice i'm excited about this we'll definitely give it extra power even though it costs us eight hundred thousand we're definitely giving it extra power because we just need to look at that thing that looks so cool select payload uh, let's just see, it doesn't reduce the reliability or anything, right? No, it just makes it more expensive, which I can live with. All right, we are building the Mars sample retrieval. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. No one else is even close, I think. Nah. Not even close. What are what are they researching? Uh, neutral buoyancy lab, water some suppression, the grand tour, and modular space station one. I wouldn't mind doing the grand tour as the first one, but I think it's more important that we get the Svesda done. So let's continue on to next month, which is. The next phase of the tethered Mars mini rover, or the Dinky Bernard. Man, we have a lot of science. That's nice. NASA space debris proposal. NASA have proposed setting up a new radar system to combat the increasing issue of orbital debris around Earth. The improved detection and tracking capability would help reduce collisions with so-called space junk, but requires funding to get off the ground. We'll help fund the project, I think. You have agreed to help fund the project. NASA has released a statement to the press outlining both agencies' dedication to safeguarding the future of space exploration. Gain 25 reputation with NASA. We didn't really need it, but it's okay. Next mission phase of the Dinky Bernard is ready. So let's... Do it. It's the final phase. We are going to be landing on Mars. This is exciting. This is exciting. All right, we need 16, 10, and 4, and we can have a little bit of drift, but not a whole lot. Um... I think we'll start out with a visual spectrum sampling. We have four turns and four commands per turn. And this, let's just see, keep drift within the required parameters to complete the task. 
Falling outside the parameters will only fail the mission when no turns remain. So, we can go outside for a while and then just bring it back. So, why do we, don't we also do a ping of the location? Then we can do a data compression, which brings us way outside. But we can then do a flyover course adjustment, which brings us a little bit back. It is a power heavy turn or a power hungry turn, but it's fine. It gives us four, two and five. Nice, a bonus there, an extra data. And a bonus there, another extra data. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Why don't we... do a packet transfer? Then we can do an external sensor alignment. A data compression. And an orbital realignment. It gives us 11, 7, and 5 with two turns remaining. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Wow, that was some failure. We'll... Hmm. I think we'll accept that. Oh, come on! We'll definitely resist that. All right, 11, 7, and 4 we have. Two turns remaining. So, and we need to worry about this, of course. So, if we do a flyover course adjustment, that takes us right smack in the middle. Then we can do infrared mapping. And I think a data compression that takes us to 15, 9, and 5. It does take us outside, but we have one turn. Oh, okay, so we can do a uh, flyover course adjustment here. That takes us back. And then we can do a packet transfer next turn and three recharges to complete this. Assist. Okay. So we'll do a packet transfer. That gives us the bonus and three recharges, 25 bonus reward achieved. We are right smack in the middle. Everything is fantastic. All right. Achieved Mars orbit. Next task, we need to perform Mars descent. And where we need to deal with a bit of heat. It never gets old seeing that, does it? All right, 14 data, 14 nav, and we need to stay below three heat, and we gain two heat per turn. All right. Again, four turns, four commands. So if we do a visual spectrum analysis, then an orbital realignment, then infrared mapping,
And then another orbital realignment. That takes us to four, two, and two. All right. Orbital realignment went well. We are aligned. Infrared mapping is infrared. And we'll have to give this orbital realignment a little bit of help. Okay, we gained some heat, so we're up to three now. So we need to take that down twice. So... Let's do another visual spectrum sample. Another orbital realignment. Then we'll do an external sensor alignment. You know what? I think a data compression. Yeah. The data didn't really compress, but we'll resist it. And we go up to four heat. So we need to take this down at least twice now, which we can by doing that. Then we can do a data compression and an external sensor alignment. Now, we're over on the data, but we're behind on the comms. We need eight comms next turn, which is two of these, which we can do. So let's go ahead. All right. And the heat is up, but it doesn't matter on this turn. So we'll do two fly over course adjustments. Then we could do an orbital realignment and an infrared mapping. That takes the heat down, just in case. We get our reward and everything is good, as long as we don't have to resist more than twice. Which we shouldn't have to. There we go. And we are landing on Mars. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. That's almost 3,000 support and 348 science for 10 months. Not bad. And Dinky Bernard is now on the moon. Very cool. Or on Mars, sorry. On Mars. We have a request mission here. Jovian Small Moon Survey. This one is challenging. This one is not. So there's a greater chance of getting the bonus here. So I think we'll do this one. They're both 21 months. This one is publicized. I think we'll do that one. But let's first take a look. Let's take a look at Mars Redness. We're at 33%. We're pulling ahead. We're 13% ahead of China. 16, uh, 15 of Japan and 16 of uh, the Soviet Union. NASA is just so far behind, it's ridiculous. All right. We do have a mission slot. So why don't we do this Jupiter? Well, we could do the Jupiter Orbiter. Uh, we're already doing that. The all right, let's do the publicized one, Jovian Small Moon Survey. Increase the power. 65% payload reliability is not great.
All right, what's the request mission we have here? That's oh, that's the global surveyor. That's actually a quite nice mission. But we're doing the other one, so it's all good. Our research is coming along. We're getting quite a bit of science. Next month we have the ecumenical complete. Which is the far side of the moon thing. Wasn't that the one that I just looked at that I said I would like to do? Yeah, it was. I'm losing track. There's too much going on. Let's do science. And the launch date will be... Let's do December. 40% extra science. Confirm. All right, then we have the Sturgeon complete. Uh, this is in four months. So that's the Jupiter orbiter. That's complete in two months. Next phase is in three years and three months. This is launching in four months. All right. Let's continue on. Mars mini rover photographed. An image of the small tethered rover Dinky Bernard on the Martian surface has, surface has featured across several news programs and print publications. The photo was taken by Vesta after a successful landing on the Red Planet. The mission has received global attention following a high profile competition to name the mini rover. Gained 300 support. Dinky Bernard. It's a great name. This minute mission is in honor of Dinky. Let's continue on. Our sturgeon is complete. And we're ready to go to Jupiter for an orbit. Vehicle train is bonus increased by 100%. Payload reliability reduced by 10% though. We're going to be doing a payload reliability training and we'll launch in January because wow January actually let's go in December and just to give us a month that we can push All right, we're launching Jupiter Orbiter in two months. We're launching Far Side of the Moon in two months. And the Voyager is complete in two months. And we have the funding review in three months. We are way past uh, our goal here. So that's all good. We'll get up to 765,000. All right, next month. Inspirational Signals. A famous science writer has described how she was inspired to pursue her career when as a child she pick up, picked up radio signals from one of your agency's early satellites. As part of a school project, uh, your agency's early satellites as part of a school project. I still have the satellite model on my desk, she commented. Gained 250 support. Okay. China is launching Uranus flyby in six months. Soviet Union completed Mars Lander. Okay, we have a new joint mission available on Mercury. Exospheric studies together with the US. Specialized component. We don't need to strengthen our standing with NASA because NASA and I are pretty darn good friends. Or NASA and the United Space Nerds are pretty darn good friends. All right. Well, next month we're launching two rockets. 
Will Mars reignite rivalry? News programs are debating whether the race to Mars will see a renewal of the rivalry between the United Space nerds and China, and most importantly, who will win. Your Asian agency has been approached for comment. Play up rivalry, play down rivalry. I'm going to play up the rivalry because I want China to be antagonistic. Gained 300 support, lost 30s of reputation with China. That's fine. Your agency has created a stir in the media with its response. Our technology and mission successes have consistently surpassed China in the past. The race to Mars will be no different. China have unsurprisingly reacted negatively to the statement. Nice. Svesda research complete. A module designed for a large orbital space station with living quarters and critical life support systems. Okay. So Jovian Small Moon Survey Payload is complete. Minus 50% build time for level 0 parts. I don't think we'll be doing level 0 parts. Uh, Jupiter Orbiter is ready for launch. It's not super reliable in any way, shape or form. And then Far Side of the Moon is ready to launch. It's not much more reliable than the Jupiter Orbiter. Let's launch the Far Side of the Moon. Uh, adequate conditions, 5% risk of going boom, let's go. Alright, clear the tower. We're still going up, not blowing up. And we are through max Q and out of here. Alright, let's see, we got a secure launch, not bad. We The Jupiter upper stage gets a little bit more reliable, so that's good. And we are performing a translunar injection, which has a bit of drift that we need to deal with. Plus minus one is the tolerance. So we'll do a signal return test. And I think we'll do a controlled burn. We have four turns and three commands per turn. We need five and five. And then I think we'll do a trajectory optimization. There aren't that many good ways of getting nav here. Well, let's confirm that. And we're incredibly unreliable. All right, we only have one power left. Let's do a ground control connection and a data transmission, and then a trajectory optimization. That gives us four, one, and six. We don't need that many comms, though. Let's just go back. Trajectory optimization. Actually, ground control connection. Trajectory optimization. And some power, maybe. Was this a challenging mission? I think it was. Mm, let's accept that. So, we need to push this back somehow, and the only th way we can do that is by doing one of these.
Then we can do a trajectory optimization and a ground control connection. Yeah. Okay. And we accept that. So five, two, and six. It's the final turn. If we recharge, then we can do that once. I can't get the last data, man, or the last nav. We're not gonna get the bonus ward here, unfortunately. What if we did this? doesn't help us. The nav is impossible to get here, man. We can do this. And we can do this. That doesn't even get us home. Okay, so we need... We need to do this. We cannot hit this one. We cannot hit this one. So I guess we just recharge and accept that we don't get that 25% bonus ward. Alright. Achieve lunar orbit. There's radiation there. Okay, wow. How come? Alright, we need 6 and 10. We have 4 turns, 3 commands, and we get 2 radiation per turn. So we do that, that, and that. That takes the radiation to zero and gives us four data. Of course, resist it. Jesus. Resist it. Accept. Okay. I'll do an orbital realignment, then I'll do two mission data updates. Take Again, takes it down to zero, and we get four comms, five data. All right. And we, of course, have to resist again. Okay. So we're at four and five. Now... What if we did this? And this... That takes us to four and seven. We can't do this one now. So how about we do this? That gives us two, which we can spend here, but we'll then need, that gives us two of them. That doesn't work. Four and seven. What? 
if we did this instead, it takes us to six and six. I think we'll take that for now. Resist. Ooh, an extra data. Nice. We have the power to resist this, and we will resist it. All right, so we're at six and seven. It doesn't matter about the radiation now. At all. So... Takes us to six and nine. Oh, we can't do that. Can't do that. Hmm. We've spent one here, then recharge and do a visual data. That gets us there. We can't resist any of them. Damn it. We'll accept. And we'll have to accept. Damn it. All right, we don't get the bonus. But we did it. So, some science for three months, and some support. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We have two missions that we need to do something about. That's ready to launch. We need to build this Jovian moons. I guess it will be the Athena. And then we'll do... Stop that. Do the Delta 3. And we'll definitely do the advanced shock absorption to get that up. And I don't think I want to do any of these. Actually, this might be okay. Two extra months to build but 10% more reliable on the launch. Let's do it. Build that. We have science or research that we need to do. So we can launch the last module of the space station now. I think I want to research the Grand Tour, see if we can't beat the others to it. Um... Where is the Grand Tour? Is it everywhere? Uh, it's not here. It's not here. Where is the Grand Tour mission? The Grand Tour, there it is. So, China has it, but they haven't planned the mission yet. Do I really care if they do it first? Wouldn't I rather do maybe the Mars prep robotic rover or this one, the ground hab, or the X-ray telescope? Let's take a look at the X-ray telescope. No one has the science for that. And it gives us a lot of science. And it's a short mission, so you know what? Let's do the X-ray telescope. We need to go down here this anyway. And then in the next one, we'll start planning for our 
final space station upgrade and we will also launch the Jupiter orbiter. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.